Roy. Howdy. We're gonna have a ripper time today. Welcome to Crash 2, guys. It's been a long time coming. Bleach episode 4 is out. Bleach abridged. I've got my Blackberry ginger ale. And, uh, I'm ready to play some platformer. One of my all-time favorite platformers, maybe... Nah, probably not my favorite, but... It's very, very high up there. Definitely my favorite of the Crash games. So let me just pop this in. Get this started. Oh yeah, I love that noise. Make sure I can see all my windows. Okay. Yeah, it's been quite a while since I've done a uh, solo stream. Okay, it's been since Dweep, but uh, I think this will go a bit better than Dweep. Now, you can actually start a new game by going to load game. But then you skip the whole intro, so I'm not going to do that. Which I'm sure most of you know. I'm going to pick up right from where we left off in Crash 1. You know, like a year ago when I streamed that. <laughs> of course. I'll uh, do my best not to interrupt this uh, fine, fine voice acting. Oh, hey, a year later. It's like real time. The cortex to reach full power need not only your master crystal, but also the remaining 25 slave crystals from the surface. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any earthbound operatives left? You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we need to find an enemy. Okay, I say that, but it's not its not bad voice acting. It's way better than Crash 1 was. Crash 1 was abysmal. Crash? Crash, my battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. Oh, hello, sister, that I didn't have last game. Are we good? Am I in con I'm in control. Kill the Coco. I cannot kill the Coco. So, if you start a new game, you get a little tutorial level with baby mode pits that you can't fall into. It's a neat little feature. Really the only uh, the only reason to do this and not go into the load game version is just because you know you had a couple extra lives on this level. And to see the cutscenes. It's an important part of the Crash Bandicoot lore. You gotta you gotta get the full experience of the story. I wonder if there's a way around this. I don't think there is. Maybe some speedrunner or some uh, glitch YouTuber has proven me wrong. I've always been fascinated with making the attempt to get well, out of well. bounds in the intro. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I, ap I apologize for the crew. Uh, oh, I apologize. I apologize. But I rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. So, uh, Bowser asking Mario to lend a bro a hand. Yeah, if you hit, uh, okay, let, let, let's do this right. If you hit load game, it doesn't actually go to a, uh, title menu load screen. It actually boots up an empty save file, drops you here at the load save wall. It, that's all it is, it's a wall. The load save wall. It just drops you here and you can load your game from there. 
So it's a very, uh, kind of interesting way to do things. Okay, let's go to Turtle Woods. Let's, uh, let's kill some not Koopas. Yeah, I don't do... I don't do a whole lot of solo streams lately. And I was going back, I was looking at uh, some of my past ones. And I realized uh, City Skylines was one of the better ones. Just because it's a lot easier for me to, you know, keep talking about a game that I'm interested in. Which, you know, seems like a given. But something like Awesome Knots. I love the game, but I've played it, you know, 120 something times by now. That, or that many streams. I played it a lot more than that. So, if I stream that solo, there's just not a lot to say about it that I haven't already at some point. This game, though, I grew up on the... Okay, that was a good start. I mean, obviously, I grew up on the... Mario, Sonic, the... Super NES, Genesis, even NES games as well, but also the N64 PlayStation era. I was always big on controls, please. Little janky. We get uh, some fabulous new moves like the slide and slide jump that we did not have in the previous game. Oh, uh, this part. Only one shot. Got it, okay. Yeah, if you fuck that up, you have to restart the level in order to get all the crates. Gems still work the same way, get all the crates. I'd rather, I don't need to be explaining game mechanics. I'm sure everyone who would be interested in watching this stream has already played Crash 2. But, uh, with the upcoming, or maybe it's been, I think it's been released already, the Insanity Trilogy, or the, the remakes for, uh, I think they're on PS4, I would assume. The, uh, Crash Bandicoot hype is once again at a high. Which is good. Even if they're remakes, you know, I'm not personally too excited about them. I don't have or have any plans on getting a PS4. And, you know, I already quite enjoy the original game, so I don't really feel the need for remakes. But, uh, you know, if it helps uh, some new folk get into the series for the first time. I don't know how good the remakes are. If they're, uh, hopefully a bit more cohesive than a lot of the Crash games we've gotten lately. Which, to be fair, I haven't played, but, uh, you know. Several, like, uh, style changes. Ah, oh, what's the word? Reboots, I guess? Like, when you change the way a character looks. Too many of those in a row can create a lot of inconsistency in a branding. And that was a that was all these I, crash. I think has had the biggest problem with that. Spyro had some issue with that too. With the when he first left Insomniac, Spyro, the art style got uh, very strange and kind of coke eyes looking. Mostly for the NPC characters, not as much for Spyro, but the strange art style. And then we got the hyper-realistic, super-serious Spyro the Dragon entry. That I don't even remember what that one was about. It, there was a, a new dragon. We had a Shadow the, Shadow the Hedgehog dragon, or something. That Spyro game looked like Sonic 2006, but with Spyro. Oh, what's this? Well done, Crash! I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, <coughs> I stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. Me! I am the force. Containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. Okay. 
can you hear me now? Oh. I think because I got the first crystal and the first gem at the same time, it overrode the uh, gem cutscene. Maybe if I get another gem, I'll get it. Maybe that's how it'll work. <laughs> but I already got all the boxes. So how would you get this gem, you may ask? I mean, you know, if you've never... I am going for a 100% run, by the way. Which, this will be a, uh, you know, a full two-hour stream of Crash 2. So, at best, I'm thinking I'll get through half the game. At least... I'm going to get through one world and a boss. Yeah, I actually don't have... I always forget how to turn on and off the uh, analog in EPSXE. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. I'm, I'm using the D-pad right now. Which is not as good as the D-pad on an original PlayStation or PS2 controller. But, you know, it'll suffice. There's a little bit of precision in Crash Bandicoot, but it's not that precise. Okay, let me see if I can cheese this. Oh, I missed it. You can get around that without falling in the pit. That is possible! I can confirm that. Thanks to this mushroom here. Damn it. One day. I've done it before. I will do it again. Like right now. Damn it. I keep I keep tilting to the side too early and just hitting the wall. That's okay. There are more pits in future levels. There we go. I get the no boxes gem. It is weird that isn't telegraphed at all, that you would go through the level with no boxes to get that, but, you know, it's interesting. I'm glad they did it. It's like, uh, the no gold run in Spelunky. You know, it's a creative way, a different way to play the game. Oh, hello, here we go. Interesting. Well, Crash, <laughs> we know this. As long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to, to, to stop you. <laughs> if the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must g g g gather the gems, not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to focus a laser! <laughs> a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he's created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you from gathering crit- It's nice, uh, insane fuck voice acting. Oh, so I guess, uh, Cortex and Embryo had a falling out. I'm gonna do my best to uh, save after every level, so we get to see all the uh, hilarious little little avatars. Crash Bandicoot having avatars before the internet. Whereabouts was this? In the, I, this was like a 96, 97 game, I want to say. Internet existed, obviously. There we go. Okay. And just, uh, killing, killing the wildlife. Stomping seals. Oh, that was bad. Speedy. Gotta keep up the speed. I don't remember if I can get this gem or not yet. Like the first game, there are some spots where you need colored gems to open areas or create platforms. Okay. I There is a way that you can uh, sneak that. There's a way to get that without uh, doing it proper. 
but I don't think I'll be able to manage it. Might be like uh, frame perfect or something, but I have done it before. I think I can get the uh, the boxes gem. But that one, I'll have to come back to from another level entrance. A secret entrance, with no boxes. Alright, let's keep on moving. Oh, yeah. Whole Crash series I was always a big fan of. <laughs> Crash 1 was a good start. Crash 2 made a lot of improvements. Introduced the uh, warp system. Crash 3 was also a really good game. Had a lot more level gimmicks, which made it less endearing to me than Crash 2, but still, I want to say my second favorite Crash game. Not counting, perhaps, Crash Bash, which was a really great party game alternative to a Mario Party. And, you know, similar games. There was Mario Party, Sonic Shuffle was a blatant ripoff of Mario Party, whereas Crash Bash was actually its own thing. It was a, very, it was a unique alternative to those kind of party games. Oh, I did it. Because it had a different, very different style of minigames, very different, uh, it had a, it had a story mode, that was cool. Different goals and objectives, it had a lot of shit going for it, that, I love Crash Bash, and I'll be, uh, I'll be getting to that at some point. I want to play all the Crash PS1 games. Definitely do Crash 1, 2, and 3. Crash Team Racing, I'll probably try to stream through. I know a lot a lot of people are huge fans of CTR. I don't think it's held up as well for me. But then I didn't uh I don't think I grew up on on Crash Team Racing. I think that was one that I got later on. No, I say later on. I mean like when I was a teenager, but And you know, I guess the same I think is true for Crash 3. I owned Crash 1, 2, and uh, Crash Bash since about when they were each released. Crash 3, I think I got a bit later, and Crash Team Racing, I got later. So somewhat explains my uh, lesser nostalgia for those two entries. But they were still, by all accounts, good games. Crash Wrath of Cortex was the sixth one, the first PS2 Crash game. And it was a good spiritual successor to Crash Warped in that uh, it was basically a, a clone of Crash Warped but with new levels and uh, content. but uh, didn't control quite as well. Had really, really long loading times for levels. And it had a, it had a few hiccups. It was even more gimmicky than Crash 3 was. Had a lot of level gimmicks. So, I don't dislike it. Not my favorite Crash game, though. Wrath of Cortex. It was at least in the same... Uh, it was in the same spirit, it was in the same style of the first of the Naughty Dog Crash games. Which I appreciate. Uh, is this boxes? Do I want to do this? Or am I fucking up? I, I know this game better than Crash 1. I know them both very well, but... Uh, Still might be a 
couple of memory lapses. I have be I have beaten Crash 1 and 2 on several occasions without using any kind of a guide or anything. So, there should be uh, no slowing down the pace of this stream. Got some uh, sick, wonky Beach Boys style music. Actually, this kind of reminds me of uh, Spyro music at this part here. Uh, oh, okay, I remember. I was wary because I thought, do I have to, uh, do I have to bounce on the boxes? No, I have to come up and get this and then go back. There we go. Yeah! Radical. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry, we're in Australia. Ripper. Gonna have a ripper time, mate. I wonder if you can get over there with enough effort. By which I mean enough uh, flinging yourself at it and probably dying multiple times those plants are at. Probably nothing over there, but, uh, it's fun to dream. Alright, am I gonna get all the boxes here? Thankfully, you do not have to, uh, not die to get the gem like you did in the first game. That makes it so much easier. But as long as you get all the boxes, you're good. Alright, I'm good. Now, if you're an idiot, you can't, in fact, spin this gem away and fuck yourself over. And you'd have to do the whole thing over again. So don't do that. It's a bad idea. I think you can also spin the crystal away in the level. I see you are getting the hang of it. I need to conserve power. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal. Oh, okay. Good villain voice, Cortex. I like the, uh, the Aztec Crash TARDIS that he uses at the start and end of levels. Aww. Rip. And then, no, it doesn't pop back up again. Okay. Now it's a speed run. I like how it varied the objectives before objectives were a thing. Make it. Run strats. Granted, the creative gems are only, for the most part, in these couple of first levels. 
they get a bit more standard as the game goes on. But you know, that's good. That, uh... They put the hook at the start of the game. Not that most new players are going to, uh, figure out these obscure gem methods anyway. I mean, it should have been, uh... Should have kind of been a given when that timer appeared at the bottom of the screen, but... Yeah, I didn't know what the fuck that was when I was a kid. I always thought, hey, it's weird that they suddenly have a timer that does nothing up here. I think this is a level with branching paths. Which, there are a couple of them in this game. But I don't think there are any quite as bad as the as the nightmare that was uh, Cortex Power in Crash One. Which do, which way do I want to go first? I'll go this way first because I think there's a uh, metal exclamation box, a trigger box, or whatever they're called. I don't I don't know. Well, Yep, there it is. Whoops. Ah, who needs fruit? Wumpa fruit? Actually, a real fruit. Never tried one. I don't know if they're actually purple inside. And back we go. Pits? Yeah, there's a couple pits. Man, it'd be great if I could see in front of behind me, you know. Probably should have killed those on the way down. You're safer in the air, Crash. Keep jumping. Are we there? No? Another pit? Okay, we're good. Good old uh, buzzsaw turtles. So, poor Crash is just caught in a uh, war between mad scientists. I guess all of the uh, the minions. that are being sicked on you throughout this game are uh, embryos. And potentially some... No, that's a robotic bird. Never mind. I was gonna say wildlife, but I missed the cyborg eye. Alright. Take two. Almost. They used to be able to do that so reliably, too. Not that it really matters. I think I figured that out before I figured out that you could, uh... Just jump on the mice to get out. Faster than... Come on. <gasps> Normally you have to, uh, kill all of the rats before a uh, trampoline appears to send you up. Is the intention. There we go. I, uh... I get crap sometimes for having no nostalgia for Banjo-Kazooie. But I never owned Banjo-Kazooie. Either of the Banjo games. I didn't grow up on them. I never knew he was uh, anything special or out of place in Diddy Kong Racing. I just That was just something that passed me by. So, now... Oh. Okay, I'm gonna do this the normal way for once. 
So now, when I see uh, Banjo-Kazooie and its wacky antics and cartoon eyes on everything, it just... Yeah, it looks, it looks goofy to me. I, I say that because, you know, Crash is the cartoony character. The cartoony video game character that I grew up with. It's a little bit of different ki kind of cartoony. Than, uh, eyes on everything, derpy banjo. We will, uh, we will give Banjo another chance, though. We'll continue that when, uh, when I guess the technology improves, or more likely when we get a hard hard copy. Which honestly, I haven't looked very hard for one. I, they probably have one at the used game shop we go to. Or they'll probably be getting one at some point. I'll add it to my list. We did recently find a game there that we've been looking for for a while. And I'm not going to tell you what that game is. But uh, you can look forward to us streaming it in the hopefully very near future. The really popular games, you know, the big sellers, the ones that everyone's looking for, always, uh, always go in a flash as soon as they arrive at a, at a used, <coughs> used game store. So it's, uh, it's hard to get to get them, you know, secured before they sell out immediately. Fortunately, it helps to be on the manager's good side, so, uh, Jack and I are regular customers of the local shop. Uh, legendary games in Vancouver, Washington. Give a shout out to anyone in the Vancouver, Portland area. Alright, let's try this. Nope. That didn't work. That was a mistake, Jim. Alright, try, try again. Wow, I've only been going for half an hour. Just about finished the first world. Making good time. I did it. Yeah! Are you having fun yet? With this, uh, gameplay? Eight, nine, ten. Yeah. And then there was one Wumpa fruit, the one that got away. Utterly unobtainable. It will float there for the rest of eternity. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh! oh, oh. I, but I needed that. I don't know if the, uh, if the snowball breaks crates for you. I think that was a thing in some of them. Or in some of these kinds of levels. They might have done that in Crash 2, but not Crash 1. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Almost. Almost made it to the TARDIS. I didn't realize this was, in fact, the last snowball. Uh, 
Okay, we got this. I'm good. Made it. We're good. Okay, dive roll. First style. And 99 won't be fruit. One short. If you're wondering why I'm not doing webcam, I just, I tend not to for solo streams. It's usually when uh, me and Jack have something going on together. Listen up. We are not without enemies. Some of them you may even recognize. Although they cannot harm you inside this warp, this warp room, they can attack you on your way to the next one. To get to the next warp, Use the platform that appears in the center of the room. Good luck. Go ahead and uh, save here. I don't remember any green electricity on that last level, but whatever. Who am I to judge? Oh, those are nitro crates. Yeah! Thumbs up. Oh, we have a uh, we have lore between the last game and this game. Ripperu has become a scholar, and just like that, the PhD is gone. This is almost just more about memorization, about where to stand in the level. Wee. In fact, that's pretty much exactly all it is. safe? Is this good? This is good. And do a little dance on the corpse. I like how people are always citing uh, Waluigi's cross thrust in uh, like Mario Strikers, I think it was. And yet here Crash is in only his second game in 1996-1998. Owning it. <laughs> I see that Ripper Roo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered. Twenty to be exact. The planets will align shortly, all thirteen of them. And this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the energy. Okay, so I guess there are 13 planets in uh, in Crashverse. Not only did they keep Pluto, but they added a bunch of new ones all around Pluto. And they're all going to align, which is, you know, as a, everyone knows, is a good reason to jump on a polar bear. Animal abuse, what? Polar bears do not have nine lives, they have ten. It's dead now. 
Okay. Everyone's favorite. Snow and ice levels. Yeah. Oh. Oh, the, the, even the TARDIS is frozen. How long do you think it took Cortex to install all of these? These uh, random warp entrances and exits all over the all over the realms. So the Insanity Isles, the Crash One locale, was like an Australian archipelago or something, right? I, mean, I gotta assume that's what it was. Uh oh, these guys. I remember you. So where do you think we are now? Greenland? Alaska? Oh, and I don't have the red gem yet. So... Uh-oh. That, that was a cool death. That was even cooler. Too cool. Frozen. So I think there are, in fact, some boxes on that red gem path, so I don't think I'll be able to get the gem on this level just yet. Until I get that platform. And even then, I'm not positive that I remember how it's done. Because I think, obviously there was that checkpoint just now, so if the red gem platform takes you through to a later point in the level, you need the boxes on both paths, so that might be another example of uh, backtracking. Probably the worst part of Crash games is uh, backtracking for alternate routes. Ah, fall damage. What fall damage? See, I like little things like that, that boxes that are too high for you to jump and get the fruit from. When they break, it automatically gives you the fruit. Just little things like that. Little, uh, little bits make for a well-designed game. Let me start talking about what what makes a good game again. Uh-oh. Had enough of that in Crash 1. And... drop. What's under here? Okay, just boxes. Ain't no one got time for the bouncer boxes. Oh no, that's not, that's not a box, that's just an overhang. Yep, I need the uh, red gem path, so that's not happening just yet. Now, I don't remember which of the, uh... You know, I guess I could do these out of order if I wanted to, uh... Just get the secret exits right away. Or rather, go get that red gem at least. And I'm, I know there's one in this level. Sometimes things just work out great. So I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna focus too much on getting all the boxes and such. I say that, but I probably still am going to just because OCD. Oh no, I don't need to. The exit's right here. Okay. There we go. So you see, you want to jump on the snow on the surfboard, but no, it tricks you. Where are we now? 
We're at a mysterious island overhang. It's the top of Cortex's castle. Look, you can see the island from the Crash 1, the first island, with the native fortresses. And you can see the second island with the uh, Koala Kong volcano. I thought this was a cool throwback, the top of Cortex's now ruined castle. What ruined it exactly? The, I guess the blimp crashing into it? I guess that would do it. No, no penguins. Uh oh, okay. I outspeeded him. Did a quick draw and won. Oh, damn it. Okay, so what's back here? Just, okay, just lives, I guess. Or a life. Nope, no, 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 okay, I'm good. We're good, I made it. You'll notice, no boxes. Or no breakable boxes, anyway. The uh, iron ones don't count. And these nitros get destroyed by the uh, green nitro switch. Got it! Okay. Now, I don't think this is a game where you can start select out. I think you have to finish the level in order to get the gem. So, just to be safe, I'm going to do that. Nothing can stop me now! gym. It looks so sad and empty, the pedestal. Crotch! Crotch! And air thrust. I feel like Crash was a mascot targeted towards a uh, only slightly older audience than the likes of Mario and Banjo. Alright, that's the red gem out of the way. I guess I can go back and get the uh, previous snow level gem too. I remember that one sucking though. Not just because it's a snow level, those always suck, but I think there was always like a box or two that I would miss that were in some obscure location somewhere. It's the best way to spend a uh, invincibility totem is on uh, platforming. You know, waiting for platforms to be in the right position instead of just, you know, charging through shit as one is wont to do when invincible. Oh, what? Okay, that was weird. So, hasn't been too bad so far. There have been a couple of uh, emulation bugs, like the uh, Cortex skipping on his dialogue. And you know, if I uh, pulled out my Crash 2 disc, we'd probably see some of that as well. Some uh, skipping and the like. And that is why that 
that that's why I've started uh, using ISOs for the PS1 games is just because I have a ton of games on the PS1 in disc form but uh, they've gotten to the point that they have started to uh, show their age and skip. They're not scratched or anything, it just happens to them over time. Okay, is there... I don't think there are any boxes on that skull path. I sure hope not. Uh-oh. No, 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 no! Fuck. Okay. Wait. Wait. Idea. Yeah! Fuck the system. I was supposed to platform over there before getting on the surfboard. But why do that when I can just surf on land? Way more efficient! Okay. Okay, we are safe. I mean, not that safe, but... Comparatively. We're not dead yet. That, that That's a good summation. Oh, I hope there weren't any crates on the skull platform. There were. Of course there were. God damn it. Gotta do this shit again. Or... Mayhaps there's a secret entrance to that level later on. I think that might be it. We'll check the, uh, we'll check the skull platform, see if there are any boxes on that route. No, my throat is dry today. I guess that explains why it's called Canada Dry. Has to live up to at least, uh, part of the name. Actually made in the USA, Canada Dry. <laughs> Says so right on the bottle. No, screw you, Penta. That's right, the penguins have names and they're Penta. Or at least one of the pen one of the penguins has that name. A uh secret. A secret character in Crash Team Racing that you can only access through a cheating device. Okay. Now let's see if I need to backtrack this or the normal route. I need to backtrack one of them. Weirdly enough, despite not uh, despite not really growing up with Crash Team Racing and it not being my favorite game, an old friend of mine, uh, Road Rocket, has been mentioned a couple times, and he was a uh, he was a huge huge fan of CTR, and that's how we spent a lot of our times was on the Crash Team Racing forums on Neo Seeker. Remember Neo Seeker? Yeah, probably not. What about Newegg? Anyone remember that? 90s folks, enjoy. I'm calling it now. I'm going to get to the end of the level and I'm going to be missing one box. It's in a really stupid location or something. Maybe? 
No, there are. I'm gonna have to try backtracking all of this. I think they wanted me to backtrack the normal way. I think that was the plan. The intention. Oh, oh, this sucks. Nitro is everywhere. Uh-oh. This looks like the end. I may have fucked up. Oh. Where does this go? Oh. Okay. So, uh, I can do the gym route and not lose progress. See, I thought it dropped me off at a totally different point. I thought it dropped me off after I uh, fell down, you know, that part of the level, and it went back to uh, not side-scrolling. At least I don't have to uh, backtrack. I mean, that would suck, having to go through the same part of the level twice, right? No one wants to watch that. Whoops. Well... What about three times? How's that, how's that sit with you? It's okay. Now that I know... Now that I know what I'm doing, that I don't have to worry about leaving boxes to make it back, I think we're gonna be okay. No, that's not enough to set it off. Needs a good head bonk. Dynamite, please. Interesting mechanic how uh, if you spin while landing on one of these, it stops you from bouncing again. Do your thing, porcupine hedgehog dude. You ever notice that after Sonic, hedgehogs and porcupines became uh, much more common enemies in games? Like, that was a thing in uh, Yoshi's Island on the Super NES. Was that they had a uh, conspicuously blue hedgehog enemy, Harry the Hedgehog. Like, it's kind of a, a creature that people forgot about until Sonic brought it back to relevance, the hedgehog. Made it. Made it. We're good. Icicles are nothing to fuck with. Always be mindful of falling icicles in winter. Oh, that would suck to miss that final jump and have to go all the way back. Okay, I think we're good. We got all the... To my knowledge, we got all the gem platform boxes. And now we can continue through the actual level. Or the main level, rather. It's all level. Good, uh, sudden stop there. Make sure you don't miss any of these hiding back here. I would feel much safer with a totem. An Aku Aku. I wonder if he was named in the first Crash game. I don't remember. Or how long it took for the, uh, the mask fella to get a name. A hey, uh, clearly good guy. Clearly good guy name, like Aku. I can't think of any evil Akus. Certainly not. 
That was almost bad. Let's let that happen. There we go. That's better. Ah. I don't remember how many boxes. I should have paid attention to how many the end of the level required. I got me in uh, Ooga Booga. And nothing up there. I hope. Come on, please. Okay, good. 124. Maybe it's the next snow level that's the really, really bad one. I could swear there's a backtracking route in one of the snow levels, and it's awful. Okay. Now for the skull platform. I'll bet you forgot about it, didn't you? Yeah, the gems have gotten very suddenly more involved since we've reached the advent of World 2. Screw you, flower. So I just have to uh, not die in order for the skull platform to be accessible. I think they were in the first game too, weren't they? The skull platforms? I don't remember. Or they might have been only in this one. Again, you'd think, you know, skull platform... That'd be really obvious. Oh, I have to not die. Because, you know, skull, death. But I, I never figured out when I was a kid what it was that made them spawn or not spawn. I'm just like, hey, why is it invisible this time? I can't figure this out. Jump on them hippos, a very safe activity. Yeah, I think this level has a, uh, has an extra portion that you have to take one of the, one of the warps in the secret warp, warp room, you know, the top of the castle, in order to get all the boxes, but, uh, I'm just playing it safe until I get to the skull platform to be sure. Wow, only eight boxes and a bonus. It's a low box count. Oh, this is risky. Very risky. God damn it. Also, we got a proper uh, menu screen in this one. <laughs> it's not just the... Uh, not just the word pause flashing at the bottom of the screen. By the way, these are some nice looking portals for PS1. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to worry about boxes. I am going to do my best to ignore them and just speed run. I don't know even why I bothered with that checkpoint. And of course, now that I'm doing this, it's going to turn out that that uh, secret warp I'm thinking of is for a different level. And there actually are boxes in the skull platform path. And I'm going to have to exit and restart again. Damn it. Uh-oh. Damn it. It's okay, little hippo friend. You can come back up. It's safe. Just kidding. Yeah, fuck that box out there. Good, uh, booga booga. 
Oh, that was a cool skip. Okay. Boxes, let's see. Boxes so far. I think we're in the clear. I think we're good. Uh oh. Oh. You you're you're mean game. Nope, no boxes. Okay, so it is the secret entrance. Well that's good. That was a safe bet. Crash doesn't care about the crystals. He only does the happy dance when he gets a gem. 25%. Not bad. Maybe three streams for Crash 2, I'm gonna guess. And now, on to one of the more memorable levels in this game. One of the more memorable gimmicks. Which, to be fair, it's not a new gimmick. We were riding hogs in the last game. But now we're riding baby polar bears. Animal abuse what? Does it count as abuse if it's an animal doing it? Ow. Oh. Them some hard crates to get. Wow, I already have 70 lives. This game is uh, does not skimp on the lives. If you're not 5, you're very unlikely to, to get a game over. I'm sorry to any of, you, any of you who have gotten a game over in this game. Okay, I got them all. And checkpoint. Yeah, there's a there's a speed mode. Not that it is a, uh, not that it's of particular use in these levels. I think it only comes into use in one polar bear level, and that's a, a secret one. There are two full secret levels in the game. Oh damn it! At least I got my polar bear buddy going to heaven with me. on crates. Oh, here's another hard one. Nope. Yep. Yeah, there's a little slowdown happening here and there. I guess this is a tell for what the uh, more resource-intensive levels in this game are. Okay, made it. We're good. We got it. Forty-eight. Forty-eight. So glad you don't have to do this without dying anymore. That made the first game... I guess quite a bit harder. Yeah, I would say Crash 1 is harder than Crash 2. That took me three streams, but, uh... I wonder what the level count in both games is. If there are more levels in Crash 1 or Crash 2. This one has 27 levels total. Which, I guess to match that, the first game would a need to average 9 levels per island. I don't remember. I don't remember if the first game had that many levels or not. Had a lot on the final island. Crash Crush. More, uh, more snowballs, I think. 
giant boulder level. Yep. Or I guess that should have been apparent from the moment that the level started facing backwards. No levels like that that are not running from something. Alright. What's back here? I'll humor you. Oh, right. Just, like, three boxes. That's it. All it is. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's mean. That that's a mean placement. The smell of a sandwich fills the air. I got Subway for lunch and I uh, started the stream without eating it, so it's now just sitting next to me. What an unnecessary dive that was. The boulder was nowhere near your crash, you're just showing off. Ah, oh, oh, okay. Speed up. Save. Save. We saved. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay. I think we're good. Can we make it? Oh, this is a long one. Okay. I think we're good. Just a, uh, a baby pit. In case you fall. Yeah, you need the uh, you need the slide jump for that. I guess players unaware of the slide jump are fucked. That was gonna bug me if I didn't get it. If I remember correctly, this level's kind of a dick when it comes to the crates at the very end. I may have already fucked myself. Yeah. I, uh, I skipped some of those speed pads. And I need all of them. See if we got time now. Made it. I still don't know if the snowball just crush breaks the boxes for you. But we won't be finding out today on my watch. the third world. Third world is sewers. Good, uh, good theme for world. Speaking of sewers, oh, we got three gems in this one. 
and I don't remember immediately what the uh, alternate gem is. Because obviously one is uh, forgetting all the boxes. <gasps> to pull a skeleton eel there. It's not creepy. I want to say there's an alternate path that ends in that extra gem. Oh, we got the spiked robo-rats. Everyone's favorite life form. Okay, I remember where the gem is. Sneaky beaky. See, Crash doesn't have access to the Mask of Truth. I'm sorry, the Lens of Truth. All he has is his good old Outback Instincts. Oh, really? But I was on the thing. Look, I'm moving with it. That was dumb. Oh, and I have to go back now. That, that's cool. Backtracking. Best part of Crash Games. It, it, it happened again. Okay, that time I wasn't on it. First time I was totally on it, though. And I think these do sink if you stand on them long enough. Uh-oh. Oh, right into it. Good ol' uh, didgeridoo death. Because Australia... Do I still have it? Oh, I still have it. So I don't need to go that way again. That's neat. Uh, I should probably get that one box, though. That'd be a good idea. I don't know if uh, remotely de detonating the nitros destroys boxes near them or not. I'm, I'm just, I'm, be I'm being safe. deep in the sewers of somewhere. I don't know, for all I know, maybe we're under Detroit. In my head, I thought that belly flop would be cooler. You really don't get a lot of uh, in-game hints or anything, or instruction on how to do the stuff like the slide and the belly flop, but, you know, back in these days, that's what the game manual was for. Back when game manuals were cool and fully illustrated and had character. And the paper you got with the game wasn't just a uh, safety protocol for how to not be an idiot when using your game console. I miss game manuals. I would be down for a game manual comeback, even though uh, most games are digital these days. Just have uh, PDF files in the style of old game manuals. Included with a bunch of Steam games. That'd be neat. I'd be down for that. But maybe that's just uh, old man Zalrog nostalgia. Don't care about fruit, just need me boxes. I think it'd be hard for even the most, uh, like, embittered, critical people when it comes to video games to venture to say that this is a bad game. Like, I can see where they're 
where some people come from with like Sonic Adventure 2, things like that. Because it's, it's got some flaws, but... I don't know if I can say that for Crash 2. Ten of twenty-five crystals. You're on your way. I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult. Again, be wary of the pathways between wolf rooms. Remember, I'm counting. Why are you running out of power? Has the sun gone down in space? Are you using all your power on the security cameras to keep Freddy out? I think Cortex just doesn't want to talk to Crash. I think the no power thing is an excuse. Alright. New baddies. I mean, not new in 2017, but... Not from Crash 1. How terrifying. Oh, and I got hit somehow. Terrifying. Oh look, I had to move. Are you going to throw knives or anything yet? No? Oh! Okay, he swings if you get close. Terrifying. Oh, look, he's doing something now. Crocky, he might be a threat! I could get hurt doing this! Oh, I can't, uh, can't jump. Gotta spin. Rebound! I think if I go up and touch him, even when he's down like that, it'll still kill me. Crotch thrust. And flash. There we go. Puppy dog eyes there. All right, get a Komodo safe. And I'm thinking I'll be able to finish this warp room. Maybe fin maybe beat the third boss, and then we'll be able to. Uh, then we'll be at two hours, and that'll be that'll be it. This might be a, a two stream game. I get uh, two two-hour sessions, and Crash 2 will be in the in the bucket, which would be a full stream shorter than Crash 1 was. But then I don't know if uh, I don't remember if the Crash 1 streams were all two hours or not. They might have been shorter. No, not gonna jump. Okay, I'll just keep moving then, fish. What a creepy-looking fish, by the way. The skull fish. Another timer, huh? So is this an uh, end of the level timer? Or is this a timer for some other area? It's probably an end of the level timer. Ow. focus on the crates first. I think this still isn't the uh, secret entrance level. I think there's one more plant, like, river level after this one that's the one I'm thinking of. That, was, that too, was a very Spyro rift that this track started with. I wonder who the composer for the Crash games was. I don't remember the guy's name, but I know the composer for Spyro. 
and he also did a bunch of other 90s stuff, like the Amanda Show. And I think all that, and, you know, that kind of, you know, Nickelodeon stuff. And when I say all that, I mean the show, all that. There was a Nickelodeon show titled All That. Kids of the 90s, enjoy. Oh, right into him. Okay, well, whatever. At least I wasn't plant food. But you know, I don't know if it was the same composer for the Crash games or not. It sounds different enough, often enough, that I would think not. I think it's probably a different person, but, you know, I don't know. I haven't looked it up. Oh, fuck this guy. Okay, I can just take the outside. Good. Are we good? Did we get them all? Oh, really? I bet it's not nearby. No. Well, where was it? This is going to be one of those levels. See, it's shit like this that's going to make this take more than two streams. Have another look. Being real thorough. Explosives here. No crates. Not seeing anything out of place yet. Maybe it was in the bonus? Nothing quite like the feeling of missing just one box in a crash game and having no clue where that box might be. Except perhaps the feeling of missing only one gem in a Spyro game and having no idea where in the level that gem might be. Maybe I just missed an obvious one, because I was in a hurry or something. Ah, that, there's no avoiding those guys. At least that's what I'm hoping, that I missed an obvious one that I'll get this time and not even realize that I missed it last time. Nothing yet. Pretty sure I got all these that last time. Wasn't this the last surfboard, too? Okay, that was got. It's gonna happen again, isn't it? I'm gonna be one short and still have no idea where it was. All three of those got. I'm 
Nothing here. What's this for? Nothing? Just a little... Yep. Oh, okay. Nope, I just... I did what I thought was exactly the same thing as last time, but... I guess I just missed one of the obvious ones the first time. Embryo does not contact you nearly as much as uh, Cortex does. Like the uh, sewer TARDIS. It's a good version of the TARDIS. Alright. Now it's the speedrun time. I wonder why they chose to do the speedruns on the river levels, specifically. I guess they just figured people would have fun going fast on the surfboard. Why is there a motorized surfboard, by the way? That's just kind of out of nowhere. And this is actually a much harder speedrun level, because you don't have time to go ahead and kill the plants. And I just, I might have just fucked myself. I may have needed both masks. those guys. And here's going to be the second one down, because I don't have time to go ahead and get rid of these. Nope. Oh, God. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Nope. I was too slow. I need to uh, board dash more. It'd be nice if, uh, if I didn't get any other checkpoints, if I went back to that checkpoint where the timer activated, and I could just keep activating it without having to leave the level, but I guess that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Love waiting for platforms. Oh, is it after you pass a certain point and not the checkpoint? Yeah, it might have fucked me right there. Off. Oh, I wasn't trying to do that, actually. Yeah, this one's real strict. this game was originally widescreen like this. Or if, uh... I don't know if I have EPSE set up to some weird dimensions or not. Really, I just checked that it was, uh... running the screen okay before I started. I didn't check the, uh... dimensions. If maybe I have them to some weird settings or not. Oh! Okay. I think... It's a speedrun from the start of the level. You just don't see the timer until that point, maybe? Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna book it from the get-go is what I gotta do. See if the timer's a little better this time. 108, yeah, that's way better, okay. So it is from the... What a weird way to do it. Why wouldn't they just show you the timer from the start, then? I guess then it could be misconceived as, uh... If you, if it, if you let it hit zero, then you die? Is what they were worried about?
That was a good, that was a good run. Making good time. Uh oh. Damn it. Okay, I, I don't have any tikis. I can't be reckless at the start. <laughs> Crash, please. Cooperate. D pad. You too. Good old uh, Laura Croft drowning animation. Oh, I should have just bounced on him. Yeah, I did just clip right through. That's cool. That's what I wanted to do. At least we got lives for days. Or, okay, yeah, we, we're gonna need lives for days. And this is when the... This is when the... Crash 2 run fell apart. Attempting to speed run. I don't know if this would be better with an analog or not. Oh, hey, I got a, uh, I got a pity tiki. You seem to be sucking. Have one of these. It didn't help. The tiki didn't do a thing. I wonder when that activates, if you die, like, ten times on a level. If I die twenty times, do I get a double pity tiki? Damn it. I did it so well the very first time. It's just falling apart now. It'd be nice with a better D-pad. If only I could plug my uh, PS2 controller into USB. That'd be neat. I wouldn't mind playing more games on a PS2 controller. Damn it! You got a freebie? Okay, this is going better. I'm doing stuff. This is, uh, redundant to get a triple tiki mask anyway. Because you can only use three on the surfboard. Or you can only use two. I made it. I'm gonna make it. Okay. That was good. Just for good measure. There we go. If, I, if it hit zero while I was running up to it, the gem would, in fact, vanish. Just being on screen is not enough. You have to collect the gem before zero. Oh, that was a yellow one. Sweet. Okay, that's done with. That was a bit of a time sink. It's okay, though. We, we spent so long on that level that all the other levels in this world are going to be easy now, right? That's how it works. Sewer or later. All the, all, all the puns. This level's a lot to load. If that uh, stutter is anything to judge by. Put that away. Where's that going to take me? Is that going to take me somewhere I want to be? Uh, oh. Oh, this, this eel has lots of stamina. This is a manly eel. Okay, there's a gem there.
good a blood curdling scream those guys have, by the way. Now I wonder, am I going to be taken back to uh, where I started on the gem platform? Or am I going to be taken somewhere else and have to do the level again? I'm going to be taken somewhere else, okay. Oh. This'll do. I made it! That was exactly enough tiki. Hey, that worked out great. Oh no, you can't spin those. Silly me. Those uh, five mile per hour fan blades are spinning much too much too fast to be uh, safely destroyed. Every sewer track is just based off that one riff. It's a very blue man groupy sound. Just the Tinking on metal. All right, there we go. So this turned out better than expected. I, th I had a, I had a suspicion the gem platform would take me somewhere I didn't want to be, but it was okay because I had a. My cheap invincibility to get me through the rest of the way. It's a good thing these guys respawn indefinitely. Lots of uh, cattle for the slaughter. What are these? Just sewer cleaning bots? They don't even seem especially, like, uh, hostile. Are these embryo creations, or is this just me? fucking with the wildlife. We're fucking with, like, maintenance droids. I'm destroying the sewer drones. Public Works is not going to be happy with me. I'm gonna get those, and then I'm gonna go this way. Oh, that guy didn't scream. He took it like a man. Oh, come on. I killed one of you. There's a cool uh, distortion guitar effect. Tiki mask. Okay, good. I, I did. I did a good. Now I just have to uh, do all this again without dying. Not that I did it all the first time. Oh, there's the screen. Okay, now stay dead. I'm gonna have to come back this way. Okay, Tiki Mask. There's some uh, life insurance. No? Okay, they stayed dead. Good. Gotta pick my moment so that uh, the water is thoroughly electrified in case I should miss my jump. Uh, pro strats. Oh, really? What I miss? Is it is it nearby? Can I still get it? It's probably not nearby, is it?
There weren't any boxes on the yellow gem path. That was its own thing. No, no, invi not, not invisible here. No lens of truth needed. All right, guess I'm just gonna have to do it again and not take the gem path. I thought I got everything. I thought the invincibility got me back to where I was. Maybe I just missed them, missed them anyway. Maybe I just suck. Slow down. Oh, hello. Rio? Coco? Coco. Good day. A vortex of what now? What's he going to do with this vortex of cortex? Is it a device for personal use? I think the Cortex Vortex was the thing that he used in lore to, like, turn all the animals into these, like, mutant hybrid things. I think. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. They didn't really explain it in-game that I recall. Might be a thing you'd have to read the manual for. Remember manuals? I remember manuals. Okay, so no gem path this time. And I'm probably still gonna miss boxes. But no doom saying yet. here, and I see a, a mask that I can use for cheese when I get out of this bonus area. Assuming I don't lose the mask in said bonus. Did I not do the bonus? I don't remember this. No, I did this. Huh. Okay. Why did I forget about this? I must have really been going on muscle memory. Okay, the mask survived, which means I can cheat my way through a bunch of the rest of the level from here. Alright, let's do this. Fresh. Nice that they also made it so that the uh, mask wasn't a pickup. And that as soon as you break the crate, you just, you get it. Even the mask, however, is not strong enough to kill the eel. The eel is immune. Fifty-six. So I already have more. So I'm still missing one, right? There's one somewhere. There it is. There's the one. That was it. Okay. Well, I don't know where I missed them last time, but I got them this time. That's happening a lot this stream. I don't know what I did wrong. But I'm going to make things right. Alrighty. Only, oh, three levels left. Okay. A little more to go. <sighs> is there a, uh, is there a digging level coming up? 
Oh, bear down. More bears. I love bears. Little bear buddy. Bear necessities. Hey, that kind of sounds similar. Drop. These are definitely the most fun levels in the game, I think. Always love the riding levels in Crash. I love the I like the polar bear ones best, then the hog ones. The tiger ones in three weren't quite as good. They got uh, the tiger ones got a bit unfair at times. There was a lot of stuff on the screen to keep track of in the tiger levels. Alright, doing good so far. These poor men, just out in the winter, lifting and lowering metal bars all day every day to no avail they're not accomplishing anything they're not getting any work done are they even working for brio or are these just like uh, alaskan workers of some kind are these just homeless people maybe they're helping someone move and they just can't uh they just can't lift the thing they keep trying but it, it's too heavy and then they have to put it down again rest a minute and then try again only to fail again. Sad, sad lives. Those dudes. And we'll just come out here for another slightly more conspicuous secret warp. And we'll just let that off into the ether, and that as well. And I'm sure they'll find their home safely. I think even if you get the appropriate number of crystals or gems for a communication cutscene, there's no way for the communication to happen up here because, you know, this warp room doesn't have the uh, little droid fella flying around, the projector. Ah, oh, there were lives up there. That's okay, I didn't need those. I'm tripping lives. So this is the uh, secret start area I told you about. And was this even for a level we did yet? I think this might have been the next level that we were about to do. Sometimes things just work out great. And that'll destroy all the dynamite on the level. I'm gonna go in here. And I'm going to be warped to the start of the level. Brilliant! Sorry, Ripper! Australian. And now we can do the level and get all the boxes as normal. Just as Miyamoto intended. Oh, okay, that didn't kill me. That That's cool. I, no, don't, I, I appreciate it. I'm glad it worked out that way. Oh no, we did this level already. I get this was the first. This was the first uh, surf level. I guess we just didn't get the all boxes gem. So it's got a, uh, it's got a secret, secret world entrance and a secret world exit. It's giving and receiving at the same time. This is a very wobbly, difficult to control surfboard, I will say. Motorboard? Ah, yeah, whatever. Slow down. Yeah, do your thing. 
blow up. There we go. Almost a miss. Okay, we're good. I hope the volume levels are okay. I, I have the habit. Oh! Damn it. Oh, this was the level with the skull platform, too. But uh, there, we confirmed there were no crates on the skull platform. I have the habit of being uh, quieter during solo streams. Not always for any particular reason. You just, I tend to be. Oh, wait, what? No, it's still here? But I died. What? Maybe after you uh, get the gem, it's just permanently active. Maybe that's how it works. This is what you were supposed to do. Not, uh, not in fact, surf on land. That was a cheapy, cheap way to do it. Okay. A lot of random crates just floating out in the river. You know, for an ancient Aztec-looking society, what industrialized people would be using crates for all their, uh, fruit goods? Painted crates, too. They're labeled with, uh, question marks, so you know exactly what may or may not be inside them. Someone's gotta be placing these crates here, right? Just like the, uh, the coins in Mario are placed by the Mario bankers, the toads in the safest place possible. Bowser's castle. No one goes there. There is a way to refight bosses, but I don't remember off the top of my head what it is. I think you have to hold triangle while you're going up or something, maybe. Ah, oh, I guess we won't see the bear down one. No, we saw it. That was the last one. Okay, Road to Ruin, and Unbearable. All the bear puns. Oh, we're almost done. I'm gonna finish this warp room. I think we can do that much. It's gonna be a little over two hours. Nice, uh, creepy music going on here. So we cannot get all the boxes on this one. Because there was a uh, secret entrance back there. I want to say this is another... Uh, this is the third one. That the... Uh, that the what's it... The secret world leads to. Okay, now are there boxes on the skull path? That is the question. I'll just fruit up there. Hey guys, you like Donkey Kong? I like Donkey Kong. Hey Donkey Kong, why are you feeling purple? You're not my Donkey Kong. It's a uh, Magilla Gorilla over here. You guys remember Magilla Gorilla? Kids of the 90s, enjoy. Actually, he was probably before 90s even. I don't know. He was, uh. Yeah, 70s, maybe 80s. Magilla Gorilla was a Hanna Barbera thing. I think around the same time as uh, classic Scooby Doo. Ah, oh, that was a cool slowdown. That was a great time for that to happen. Very opportunistic. Nothing I love more than an opportunistic game. 
Now, will the skull platform still be there? Because I jumped on it. Yes, it will. Good. <clears throat> I can't get all the, the all boxes crate, the all boxes gem. Ah, oh, that was my fault. But I can get the skull platform gem. If, you know, I succeed at getting through the skull area. That's on me. It's a floating Aztec platform technology. Can't be beat. Almost did it again. Fuck you, Megilla. I'm probably rushing more than I should be. I gotta. It's ultimately gonna make us take longer if I die again, so, uh. Yeah, none of that. That was close. You don't, uh. You have no traction on these things. You will slide off if you stand still. It's a feature. There we go. Oh, I was right there, too. Okay, so we've confirmed that is, a uh, crate-free. And now I get a mask. Oh, bonus. Don't care. I can't get all the crates, why should I bother with any of them? What's the point, really? Okay, the monkey's just immune to- Oh, look, I didn't get all the crates. Oh no, that's too bad. Only 30? Wow, I must have been really slacking off. Alright, did I even get the- Did we pass the crystal? I think the skull platform took me past the crystal. God damn it. If I don't have to do the skull platform, this will go a lot faster. Then now this will be the speed run. You don't want to, uh, do not be the spinning or the jumping on those guys. They are the spiky. Oh. Okay, there's that, there's that. Speed run. Speedy speed run. Invincibility would be nice. Kind of my own fault for blowing a mask, though. Don't blow a mask, go get splinters. Mmm, delicious slowdown. want to play Ape Escape? Oh, I did even worse than last time. It's another thing that I've talked about potentially playing at some point on stream. Maybe with Jack. Maybe not. We'll see. Ape Escape is a long game if you want to go for 100%. Oh, he looks so sad in the middle of the Aztec ruins with the scary opera man singing. Unbearable. Here we go. Now this is a level with some dick crates in it. Oh, it's happy. It's Christmas music. Can't you hear how happy it is? Oh, dear God. So, uh, how many children were traumatized by this thing? I guess, oh, and I get, I don't get killed by the giant bear, I get killed by the lizard. So I guess this fella 
doesn't like us riding her children. Oh, that's, yeah, that's bad. I'm gonna have to figure out how to turn the analog on again. If I'm gonna be streaming that PS1 game. It's a good thing that bandicoots are uh, faster than polar bears. Little known fact. Polar bears not built for speed. Also, for some reason, there are uh, fences in the Arctic. The Aztec Arctic? Where are we? There's like wooden ski lodges. There's polar bears. There's Aztec ruins. What is the theme here? Oh, and, and uh, future, future tech speed boost pads. Don't forget those. And landmines. So, is this, is this Embryo's doing? Did he just piss off a polar bear and lay landmines everywhere? Is that his anti-crash strategy? Here we go. Dick. Dick boxes. Oh, and now there are hunters down here. We've entered the, the land of the lost. Nice, uh, nice, friendly, slow-moving bullets. Wouldn't want the game to be too realistic. Mario, except Bowser uses real guns. Ah, oh, that's one down. Yeah, there is. That's a some dick boxes. Those are some. Those are some good ones. Nice and off screen. I think I have to duck under these ones. Not sure. Oh, come on. No. Really? Here? In 2D? Rats in my side scroller? Okay. Dodged a bullet there. Oh, you didn't have to ruin the rest of the bridge. first, just in case there were any nitros in here. Come on, Crash, you can do this faster. Break the crate. There we go. Yeah, I think there were nitros on that, uh, those four crates there, those metal boxes. So, a, l a little recon, a little scouting ahead can save you small amounts of trouble. friend. Oh, you thought it was fun forward. Now let's try riding a polar bear backwards.
But oh no, there's more to do. You thought the dick moves were limited to that, uh, that one area. To jumping down the bridge, but no. There's more. Oh yes. Totally bare. Like, or, like, na like naked? Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, save that. And I'm not going to do totally bare now. I will come back to it. I am going to go back and uh, beat the boss. How do I get back? That wasn't the way. Okay. Yeah, Totally Bear is one of the two bonus levels. And by far the better of the two. 22 out of 42 gems. So we're more than halfway with the gems. Oh, hey, here's the, here's Cortex. Rash, my boy. You are more than halfway there. But I'm sure you've noticed that things are getting harder. The last ten crystals will be the hardest to gather, and my uh, <coughs> uh, our enemies will be sending their strongest forces to fort you. I'll contact you again when you have completed the next one. Okay. Contact you again next stream. I'm gonna go ahead and save. I think that's the last of the, uh, of the running from stuff levels. I don't think there are any more after this point. Oh, but we have so much more, so many more gimmicks to get to yet. Here we go. Good old tiny. In his, uh, space station? I guess this is Embryo's. Oh, that slowdown, that's good. That's real good. Come get me. Ah, dumb tiger. Oh, of course. When I fall, it's insta-death, but not this guy. He can take a fall. Cheater. Uh-oh. He was confused for a second. Cool guy, Tiny. You know, for a, uh, for an aboriginal yet somehow Aztec Bandicoot. Crash adapts really well to these sci-fi environments. And that's it. Ripperoo. Ripper. Shake, shake, crotch, crotch. Thrust, thrust. And flash. The signature crash dance. Do the Crash Bandicoot. Alright. So, uh, thanks for hanging out. And we'll be back for another Crash 2 stream. Hopefully the last Crash 2 stream. In the future. And it'll be a two-stream game. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.